Shalom to my brothers and master Yeshua the Messiah who have his testimony and guard his commandments. Brother Nick here and today I'm going to be presenting you with amazing mathematical evidence, lunar calendar info in the Genesis flood account that proves the calendar 100%. So I'm going to get right into this and I'm going to make this video very quick. The Genesis flood facts right here. On the 17th day of the second month, the flood began. That is according to Genesis 7.10 in the Masoretic text and also confirmed by the DSS Dead Sea Scroll, Scroll 4Q252. Okay, the next fact that you need to know about the flood is that the waters prevailed upon the earth for 150 days. That's Genesis 7.24. Again, a second time it says there was 150 days in Genesis 8, 3 through 4. And after the end of the 150 days, the waters were abated and the ark rested in the seventh month on the 17th day of the month upon the mountains of Ararat. Okay, in the LXX, okay, it says the 27th day of the second month to the 27th day of the seventh month. Here in the Masoretic text and the Dead Sea Scrolls, it's 17th day of the second month to the 17th day of the seventh month. Both the LXX and the Masoretic text both says the amount of time is 150 days. So for this presentation, I'm just gonna be using the Masoretic text with the Dead Sea Scroll version, okay, for this exercise. 17th day of the second month to the 17th day of the seventh month is 150 days, okay? It says that twice, as I just said. That's the, and that is the Genesis flood equation. So now we need to solve the equation. But first we need to understand basic astronomy. The lunar cycle from, from new moon to new moon or from a blank moon to a blank moon is 29.53 days approximately. That is the average length, okay? So that means since all lunar months on the lunar calendars alternate between 29 and 30 days every other month then during the calendar year of the flood, Assuming it was a lunar calendar, there are two scenarios of months and days. So scenario month for this flood account is that uh, month 29 contained 29 days. The next month contained 30, 29, 30, 29, 30. And then scenario two is the second month contained 30 days. The, next, the following month 29, the next month 30, following 29, the next month 30, the following month 29. What that looks like like that when you chart it all out is right here. This is mathematically testing the lunar cycle with the Genesis 710, 724, and 8, 3, verse 4 equation. Okay, so here it is from the 17th day of the second month to the 17th day of the second month. So here you can see second month, third month, fourth month, fifth month, sixth month, and seventh month. Scenario 1 has 29 days for the lunar cycle. Okay, in the second month, then 30, 29, 30, 29, 30. Scenario two has 30 days in the second month, then 29, then 30, 29, 30, 29. Okay, so now these are the days per month that we're going to go ahead and add up to mathematically test the lunar cycle. So here you can see it, uh, the first month starting on the counting the 17th day of the second month as day one. You get 13 days, 30, 29, 30. 29 and then 16 days brings you all the way up the 16th day of the seventh month brings you all the way up to the 17th day when the ark rested on the mountains of Ararat when you add all that together you get 147 days in scenario two we'll go ahead and because there is 30 days you get one more day in this month than you did here so starting on the 17th day including the 30th day of the second month you go 14, 30, 29, 30, 29, and then 16 days again. That brings you to the 17th. That's 148 days total, okay? And not 150 days as it says twice in both Genesis 7, 24 and Genesis 8, verse 3. So what is going on with your lunar calendars? The uh, lunar astronomy, the astronomy, what we see and what we observe does not match up with the Genesis account twice written in it. Now you're going to be saying, well, Nick, that's not fair. You're not counting the 17th day of the month here of the seventh month, the 17th day of the seventh month. So I went ahead and I'm going to go ahead and add one more day for you. And spoiler alert, right here, adding that one day, it only gives you 148 here. 
if it starts with only a 29 day month right here and then a 30 day month and you add it one more day in the seventh month it gets 149 days again not 150 days as it says twice in both genesis 7 24 and genesis 8 verse 3. this means that you're following a false lunar calendar and whatever teacher has taught you this has not done the basic simple math to understand that 149 or 148 or 147 days does not equal 150 days as the text says twice it should equal so therefore it eliminates all lunar calendars all variants of lunar calendars lunar sabbath calendar hallel 2 lunar calendar the lunar solar calendar all as false okay so in that conclu to conclude there is no mechanism in any lunar calendar variant of all of those variants that i named to make five lunar months Five lunar cycles equal 150 days. It just does not work. You can add an extra day at the end, just like I shared with you, because on the 17th day, that's when the ark rested. Therefore, that shouldn't be counted. So it's really less than that. It's really 147 and 148 days, not 148 and 149. Still, it's not 150 days, and all lunar calendars fail. The, the Babylonian lunar calendar deception is deep, dark and wide and has gone unchecked for millennia in both judaism and in christianity and all things of the bible but the light of the torah is the math of genesis 7 and 8 which speaks the truth so now is the call to action with the mathematical evidence that you have just been presented either you agree that all lunar calendars that use lunar months fail the genesis 7 and 8 record and that all variants of the lunar calendars are false or you continue to choose to believe lies and are an adversary of Yahweh's truth Yahweh's testimony and Yahweh's light okay Jeremiah chapter 8 verse 20 I need to warn to the Torah and to the testimony if they speak not according to this word it is because there is no light in them all right so the testimony is the testimony that we have in Genesis. By disproving all lunar calendars that use lunar months and eliminating them as any possibility of the calendar, that means that the calendar of the Torah and Yahweh's calendar, the calendar of the Israelites, has to be a solar-based calendar. Hallelujah. And with that being said, I now want to share with you that this video presentation is based on this paper that I wrote that I posted to my academia page. The paper's body is only like four pages long and it is about a five minute read. It has a little bit extra information in there where you can take a look at the charts that I presented even uh, better. There's more charts in here. So go ahead, link to this paper, Astronomy and the Math in the Genesis Flood Record Disproves All Lunar Calendars. The calendar of the Torah is solar. So you can go ahead and get this link here, link to this, my academia page in the description. Also, I've been making calendar videos on the 364 day calendar for almost, for seven years now, I've been making calendars. So I don't know what you guys are all watching. A lot of you are all watching false teachers. There's so many people out there that wanna be, that say, we don't know the calendar, oh, but they can't do the basic math in Genesis chapter seven and eight and say, oh no, it's definitely not lunar. It's that simple. They go, oh, well, uh, this is easy because my congregation likes the lunar calendar so I can get their ties as a teacher or whatever. And I'll lose people if I tell them the truth. So I'm just gonna go ahead and teach them lies. Those are called false teachers, false shepherds devouring the flock, okay? And they, I've been on this calendar for like six or seven years, hello, well, yeah. But the calendar of the 364 day calendar it is solar calibrated and non-Gregorian. Everybody out there, there's a big movement on the 364 day calendar. I've been preaching to everybody, teaching everybody for seven years now, solar calibrated and non-Gregorian. It does not use the Gregorian days of the week. Okay, so in my paper right here called Restored, a plethora paper, the Zadok Priestly Order, I restored that 364 day calendar. I restore that and explain that solar calibrated and non-Gregorian. And then obviously I discussed the covenant of Noah, which is something else. You can access this paper, link to that paper 
on my website, 364daycalendar.com. Link to this paper in the video description. So you need to understand if you're going to go with the 364 day calendar, it is non-Gregorian and it is also solar calibrated. And I explain how David hid in this video, I explain how David hid the calendar calibration method. Him and Solomon both did it in this paper right here in Psalm chapter 19. So link to that paper in the video description. Now let's go ahead and talk about false teachers. Here's one of them, Adam Fink of Parable of the Vineyard, one of many false teachers who promotes his lunar calendar all while claiming he doesn't know for sure, doesn't want to attack other calendars. But then he goes here and does a hit piece on the solar calendar in the book of Jubilees to lie against the truth, to promote his calendar. So again, he, can't, he cannot count the basic math and he doesn't understand that 148 days, 147 days, 149 days does not equal 150 days that says twice in the book of Genesis it was 150 days. He doesn't understand that he can't do that type of math, but he can count those uh, donations to his, to his ministry. I'm sure of that. So anyways, brothers and sisters, freely I receive, freely I give. I can say that because I've never received a penny of any of your guys' money. I don't take any gifts or donations. Hello, a yuh. Freely I receive, freely I give. So let's call out these false teachers, okay? And that can't do any math. Let's call out, call out these false teachers. Go ahead, harass them. Do whatever you gotta do. Get the word out on the true solar calibrated non-Gregorian 364 day calendar. Read my paper if you have any questions about it. So again, why are there so many false teachers who can't be honest with the math in the Genesis flood record and choose to teach error? As I've said, some of them, it would ruin their congregation because it's not convenient. The truth is not convenient. They can't handle the truth because they're basing their livelihoods. Teachers, some teachers out there are basing their livelihoods on donations and it just won't happen. So anyways, that's what's going on. Twice it says in the Genesis flood account, 150 days you can do the math and ascertain and you can find figure it out that 150 days equals five months which is impossible on a lunar cal calendar it's only possible on a solar calendar and here in my paper right here that little four page paper regarding this event right here on the 364 day calendar right here on my academia page you can access the information where I explain the 360 day prophetic calendar variant is a variant of the 364 day calendar. I explain that all in this paper. So check out that paper. And then also, I also explain that in my paper restored. And, and also I go into that in my paper restored. So you can check out that paper as well. This is compre very comprehensive on how to have the solar calibrated non-Gregorian version of the 364 day calendar. I do not present the 364 day calendar as legitimate. We know that it's legitimate just as we know from the Genesis 7 and 8 flood account. This is how to figure out to correctly choose and understand the correct version because there's a lot of false versions of the 364 day calendar. People that use the Equilux, people that use all these different Gregorian days of the week. When, the, when it is a tropical solar, based on the tropical solar cycle. So check out my paper there if you need it. I'm signing off and I hope that you're blessed by the information in this video. Again, link to this paper, these papers, link to these papers in the video description. Read this paper, this paper right here. It'll take you, like I said, five minutes to read. You'll have all the information. You'll be fully equipped to deal with all the false calendar teachers out there, all the congregations that are using the false, all the false teachers out there, they won't have an answer for this basic math. So that's why I believe it's in Genesis chapter seven and eight. I hope that you're blessed. And shalom to my brothers out there who have the, and shalom to my brothers out there who have the testimony of Master Yeshua the Messiah and guard his commandments. Shalom to you.